Hello everyone, this is what's on the bench right now. I have almost finished up Dark Matter Exia, but I decided I needed better stress relief than putting stickers on. Would do. So I'm opening this guy up. It is an extra finish version, so there's no need to paint it. It is not quite a real grade. It's probably a no grade because it just says 1 100 scale. It is, I mean, master grade. It is master grade size, but it's not a master grade. It looks like it does some transformation gimmicks, which might be cool. It's got a backpack. Of course it does. We'll find out as we build it exactly what we got on our hands. Okay? Being the extra finished version, you can tell it is going to be really, really shiny. And I'm going to have to be really careful putting it together to keep that finish good. I think the red parts are the dullest parts on this kit. I mean, this is a painted, pre-painted kit is what this is. Okay. Lots and lots of nice shiny parts. Nice silver color. And I'll have to do some testing if I'm going to panel light. Unfortunately, the big sticker sheet is there. And I don't like the size of some of those stickers, so they're probably not going to be too good. Looks like it's got some nice beam weapons. It looks like there's some wings on here. I don't see tide marks on this, because sometimes on these big uh, black pieces, you can find some tide marks. We have only a couple more sprue left. Nice blue. I like that blue color. And the weapon sprue. There's been lots of these in there, too. So I don't think they skimped on this guy. He's just not a Master Greg kit. And there's some sort of clear card in here. I don't know what the clear card's for. We'll find out. And here's the directions. So let me put all this back in the box. He doesn't have posable fingers like Exia does. Okay, so let me set this aside. There we go. And let's take a look at this part here. Um, lots of Japanese, very little English. Telling you how to remove parts from sprue, sprue map like you always get. Okay. And I've recently learned the Google Translate. You can hold your phone at it and it'll translate all these, part, these words so I can look them up. First thing is you have is the head. And some of the weapons, which is unique, because usually you don't have the weapons first. Okay. And then arms. It doesn't look like there's going to be a lot to put in this together. It doesn't look like it has much of an inner frame, and the parts didn't look like it either. Okay. What I mean by inner frame is if you look at this guy right here, I can pull off some of his arm parts. So let's see his arm comes off right there real little too easily if you ask me. But you can pull off these arm parts and there is an inside frame in there to uh, show you what's going on. Okay, and you can see it. You can see it going up underneath the parts. So you can put together the frame and then... Um, Put together the frame and then you put the armor on the frame okay but this guy doesn't look like he has one and that's probably why he is a real great i mean not a real a master grade kit it does look like there's some transformation it does look like there's a core fighter so to speak because right in here you you, you build a fighter here and then you transform it and put it inside his body on page seven it looks like everything's done and page 15, oh no, it's not done. Page 15, you build the backpack. It's a big backpack. And then there's some transformations going on, and he's got one big sword. Okay. And the sword's part of the backpack, and here it's showing you how to transform it. Here it's showing you the sword is bigger than him. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. They're telling you to take it apart. And the gun can move, the arm can move, and you can put it together. I don't know what that's supposed to represent. Oh, he breaks up into three parts. Okay, anyhow, there you go. And 
and you can display him on his shield apparently. Don't know, all I know is I want something fun to build and this looks like it might be fun to build. So I'm going to get a start at it. Okay. And step 1 through 13. Looks like you put together the body. So I'll get started with the body. I'll come back in a little while. Maybe I'll just build the head tonight, which is step two. We'll see. But I'll come back uh, midway through and show you what I've done. All right, all I've built is the head. It came with an extra V-fin part, which is interesting because they're identical. And what's even more strange about it is the one of them was on a sprue all by itself, and one was not. And the one that's on the sprue by itself was not painted on the back. And yes, they're painted or coated. You can tell as soon as you start cutting the sprues apart that they are. All I built is the head, so let's take a look at this and see what we think about it. And I just noticed my camera is just a tiny bit sideways. Oh no, don't don't go dropping things. Okay, first off, this Bandai was not real careful with their cutting points their nib marks you can see nib marks on it in other words they didn't under gate they didn't put the gates where you wouldn't see them when they cut off okay one sticker two stickers so far the blue thing up at the top and his eyes those kind of stickers I don't mind because they actually help instead of hurt I like the look of him now if I get f91 here he's definitely got a bigger head than f91 so he's gonna be bigger okay what about Exia? Exia feels left out. What does Exia think? Uh, about the same size as Exia. Okay. Funny thing about Exia, these are stickers, and they're good stickers. I mean, you can tell they're there, but they're very, they're hard to tell that they're there. Unless yeah, I put it down too close to the edge. But most of the stickers on this thing have been laying down really nicely. The, this is like an example one of the worst ones because you can see an outline around it but most of the stickers lay down really nicely on this and they're not thick and heavy okay the phone is ringing that's weird anyhow gonna go ahead and cut this off I gotta go that is the other I will be back working on him later alright I got the main torso put together I really like the special coating version with the exception of one thing the nib marks it doesn't matter how careful you are with them because this is a painted part when you go to remove it from the sprue it's gonna leave a mark and the only way to fix that is to paint it sand it down and paint it but it's already painted so that's the part I don't like about this, but let's put his head on there. Outside that, if, if Bandai was just a little bit more careful about how they put the nib marks on there, I would buy, I would buy these anytime. Pay the extra cost because it's going to look really good once it's together. The glossiness everything this is why you should paint your Gundams if you can I don't really have a lot of time and sometimes like this guy I don't think I would paint him because of the way he looks right now the, the only the only thing that looks kind of off to me is the V fin up here it looks a little I don't know for some reason that yellow plastic doesn't do it for me but this guy's looking good there's two stickers on him as of right now this is a sticker but it doesn't look like one. I'm okay with it in his eyes. And again, the eyes are kind of a necessary one. But there we go. We got the upper torso made. We got the head made. And up next is supposedly the gun and the shield. So I will be back when I'm done with that. 